Park Industries web video, the Titan Tool Library, ITM Part 2. The objectives of this course are to learn how to input the tool information into the library, how to edit and delete tools, and how to use the compensation calculator entering removal amount. Building the Titan Tool Library. Have your ITM sheets filled out and available with the needed information. There are two sections on the ITM sheet. We're going to be using the top section for the information to be entered into the library screen. The lower section is for the ITM screen. The information for the tool library must be entered before the information for the ITM. The top section is for the tool library. The lower section is for the ITM. The tool library values were filled out in video number one. Remember, the RPM feed rate and removal amount is information that is specific to the tool manufacturer. We're going to take the information from the ITM sheet and enter it into the tool library. First of all, we'll have to navigate to the tool library. On the main screen, we'll choose the setup button, which will bring us to the setup screen. On the setup screen, we'll choose the tool library button, which will bring us to the tool library. We may have to delete information. If we need to delete information, we'll select the tool position that we wish to delete, and we'll follow it by selecting the delete button. When we choose the delete button, it'll ask for a confirmation. We'll confirm, yes, we want to delete. Now to edit the tool, we'll again make sure that the proper tool is selected before we choose the edit tool button. That will bring up the edit screen for that specific tool. We'll start by adding a description. We'll touch in the descriptions field which will open up a description screen and allow us to type in a new name for the tool. Next, we'll start filling out the rest of the fields by selecting a field and entering a value. We'll repeat this process for the RPM, the feed rate, the tool diameter, the tool length, and the default Z. When this information is all entered correctly, we'll choose the Save and Close button. We'll repeat this process until all tools are successfully entered into the tool library. Removal amount is entered into the compensation calculator. We'll do this by choosing the compensation icon. This opens up the compensation calculator screen. To start, we'll select the field next to tool number one by pressing on it. This allows us to enter the number of the first rack position of our profile set. That will fill out the next seven tool locations. We'll enter in the removal amounts from our ITM sheets that were specified by the tool manufacturer. Horizontal removal is recommended by the tool manufacturer. Vertical removal is only used on non-encapsulating tools and vertical removal is typically half of the horizontal removal amount. The material to leave will be updated in the tool library. Now that we have our values entered, we will save and close and the tool library is completed. If you would like to verify the removal amount, you can go to the tool edit of the first tool of the profile set. There you will see an X and Y stock to be left value. The stock to be left value should be equal to the sum of adding the following three tools removal amounts. Now you can set up the R values in the ITM screen or make a program to test run the tools. 
thank you for watching.